Hello, this is Ian Kilbarn, Energy Systems Engineering Technology at St. Lawrence College, Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Okay, this video is about how to model the R value of a wall in Red Screen Expert. So I'm uh, on the Energy tab here, and uh, I've already created some building envelope zones here. Um, I've got a zone 1 and a zone 2, so uh, here I am in zone 1. Um, I've uh, checked off walls and I've entered the area of my walls in different directions. Um, I have some R values in here uh, that are just kind of placeholders that I put in before, uh, but here's how to, uh, to really model it. So you click on the little building envelope properties icon here, and we say create new. Over here on the tree, you can see it's created a new building envelope property. These are in italics, so don't get them confused with uh, these entries here, which are completely different. These are your zones that are going to actually use energy. Uh, these ones in italics are uh, worksheets that define the properties that you can then uh, access when you are creating these zones. So I'll click on this and bring up the worksheet for that. So building envelope properties. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is rename this and make it something descriptive of the thing that I'm modeling uh, because I'm going to want to use it uh, probably again and again. So I've called that uh, wood frame wall AG. That's my short form for above grade. Uh, so coming down here, it's a wall above grade. Um, if it was uh, some other part of the building, I would choose that here in the drop-down. Um, I get to choose which units I want to have. Again, the first two are R values, the second two are U values, uh, metric or RSI, and conventional um, imperial R value. That's the one I'm going to choose. And uh, down here I get to choose uh, thickness of my materials, whether I want to be in millimeters or inches. I'm going to go in inches. Uh, so the worksheet begins by giving you an interior and an exterior film coefficient. Um, if you're not happy with those numbers, uh, you can overwrite them. Uh, over here is where we're going to create the various layers of the wall. So uh, it doesn't really matter actually what order they're in, uh, but just to think about things logically, I'm going to start with this wall on the outside, and uh, I'm going to say that I've got some wood siding here. Um, here's the R value that they're suggesting, R per inch. Again, you can override these if you're not happy with them. Um, and there's good reasons to do that uh, in many cases. So uh, I'm going to say I've got uh, 3 quarters of an inch of wood siding. Uh, now my next layer here, I'm going to push the click on the plus button to add another layer. So coming in from that, um, I'm going to have a layer of fiberglass insulation. Red Screen doesn't offer uh, a choice called fiberglass insulation, even though it's probably the most common building insulation uh, in our buildings in North America. Uh, they do have mineral fiber, um, high and low density, and medium density. Um, I'm going to choose the low density one because it gives me the R value of 3.4, which is about right for fiberglass insulation. Uh, it's a 2 by 4 wall, so that means I will have uh, three and a half inches of insulation thickness in there. So I'll enter the thickness here. Uh, the next layer I'm going to have is going to be the drywall on the inside. Uh, drywall is called gypsum board in here. So gypsum board, and that's a half an inch. So those are uh, my main wall. Oh, wait, I've forgotten uh, sheathing. There would be sheathing on the outside of this wall. Um, so three quarters of an inch of plywood or um, perhaps solid wood sheathing if it's an old wall. So I'm just going to choose down here wood softwood uh, for that. And uh, put in three quarters of an inch. Um, as I said, the order is not uh, is not important here. Um, it just t 
totals it all up for you. So that's showing that at an R15 wall. Now, if you're thinking about uh, the structure of this wall, you'll realize that we have not modeled the studs that are in the wall. Um, the studs are not a continuous layer, and in fact, the studs are a thermal bridge. Uh, and we model those down here. So whatever we model down here is going to be an R value decrease. Uh, and that's where the studs are going to appear. Um, we get to choose now of the existing layers that we've created, uh, which layer is your thermal bridge in? Well, the studs are bridging through this mineral fiber layer here. Uh, they're effectively reducing the R value of that mineral fiber layer. If we uh, didn't have any studs, we'd have a continuous layer of fiberglass insulation. Um, our studs interrupt that, and the studs have a worse R value uh, than the insulation, and so they're going to create a, uh, a thermal bridge. So what is my frame made of? It's made of uh, softwood, uh, and it's in this layer, so I'm putting it there. Um, area percentage. Well, here's where we have to uh, do a little bit of side math. My studs are an inch and a half wide, and there's one every 16 inches. So 16, or one and a half out of every 16 inches is solid wood. So 1.5 divided by 16 is 0 0.09375, or in percentage, 9.375. So that's the percentage um, of area um, looking uh, face onto the wall that uh, is bridged by these studs. So once I've got that, it's going to calculate now that the net R value increase or decrease on this wall is 0.7. So my total down here is 14.6 as opposed to 15.4. I can now go back up into zone 1 building envelope. Um, and you can see that it has entered 14.6 uh, for me in this R value field. Uh, now, anywhere else um, in my worksheets, um, if I click on building envelope properties, um, I now have access to wood frame wall above grade. Um, as I build up different wall and roof types, above grade, below grade, uh, whatever, um, this list is going to get longer and longer. Um, and for any particular wall, um, I can uh, then just with a single click uh, link it to that and we'll put in the same R value. If I come back here and uh, decide that uh, something is different about this wall, then uh, I can come back here and edit it. And of course, then it will uh, update the values everywhere uh, in my whole building model where I might have used that uh, particular wall type.